Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I need to emphasize that monitoring someone else's phone without their consent is totally illegal and also unethical. It should be 100% clear that it's completely illegal to install any software on another adult's phone without their knowledge. So this video is for educational purposes only, and you should always use such softwares responsibly and within the bounds of the law, such as parental control softwares or monitoring company devices with consent. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to install MC MSPY on an Android device, we'll go step by step on how to download and install MSPY, ensuring that you can monitor necessary activities within legal boundaries. With that said, just to be upfront, I'm an affiliate of pretty much all the companies that I talk about, including MSPY, but my recommendation wouldn't mean much if I didn't give you my honest opinion as always. And if at any point you decide to try MSPY out, you can use the paid affiliate link down in the description below, it doesn't cost you anything, and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their websites. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, to install MSPY on an Android device, you need to sign up for an account, choose a subscription plan, and follow the installation steps. Once installed, you can log into your account from any browser and start monitoring. All right, let's dive into the installation process specifically for Android devices. This method requires a few steps, but it's pretty manageable if you follow along closely. Firstly, you need to disable the Play Protect feature. To do this, open the Google Play Store, tap the three dots in the upper right corner, and select Play Protect. Then tap the Settings button in the upper right corner and untick Scan Apps with Play Protect. Next, you also need to disable Google Play Store notifications. Go to your phone settings, find the Apps section, select Google Play Store, then Notifications, and untick Show Notifications notifications. Once that's done, open your web browser and go to the link provided by MSPY. Pass the CAPTCHA verification to start downloading the app. For security reasons, the app might be called Update Service. After downloading, you need to allow the phone to install apps from unknown sources. Open the downloaded app, then tick the Allow from this source option. To finish the MSPY setup, follow the on-screen instructions and press Allow so it can access all the features of the phone. And finally, you need to re-enter the verification code you received via email after subscribing to a plan. Once you've completed that, MSPY will start monitoring the target device, which means you can already see data from your dashboard. And there you have it, folks. Now you know how to install MSPY specifically on an Android device. Remember to always use such softwares responsibly and legally, such as for parental control or monitoring company devices with consent. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to try MSPY, you can use the affiliate link down in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. I always enjoy hearing your thoughts. So leave any questions or comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Finally, thank you so much much for watching and I will see you in the next video.